Oh, I'm tired. Oh, that is so worth it. Oh, just a little bit more to go. It was a beautiful Sunday morning when we arrived at the Zion National Park Visitor Center and managed to get one of the last free available parking spots for the day. Through a permit drawing, we'd been given a chance to hike Angel's Landing today. I'd been nervous for the previous three days and really wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it or not. We boarded one of the free shuttle buses that would take us to the base of the hike. The shuttle bus drivers also doubled as tour guides, and it was pretty interesting to hear what they had to say. When we arrived at the parking lot, we had a great view of where the hike was about to take us. Over the next two and a half miles, I descend around 1,500 feet, including a section known as Walter's Wiggles that has 21 consecutive switchbacks. Once we arrived at Scout's Lookout, it was time to make the decision whether to push on to Angel's Landing or to stop here and enjoy the view. I decided to try the first section of chains and just go from there. It turned out to be really fun. I'm tired. Oh, that is so worth it. Oh, just a little bit more to go. It's a little windy up here. Wow. On parts of the chain section, you're literally mere inches away from a thousand feet straight down. And in general, I'm scared of heights, but for some reason, I really wasn't that scared on this hike.
we headed back down the mountain enjoying the spectacular views along the way. And at the bottom we boarded the shuttle bus for our next hike, the Narrows. We changed into the waterproof socks that we bought in preparation for the water section. Although the water was up to our thighs, so it didn't do a whole lot of good. This first part is called the river walk, and as you can see, it's very popular. After one very slow going mile, we decided to turn around and head back to the camper for the night. A couple of days later, we were headed for Observation Point when we found out that the parking lot was closed. Thankfully, we were able to pay for this shuttle to take us to the trailhead. We found out that a new parking lot was being constructed to account for the larger number of hikers that were coming to this trail. This trail was seven miles in total and relatively easy going with the exception of the last mile before we got to the overlook. As we descended in elevation, we began to catch glimpses of the canyon up ahead. The anticipation grew as we approached the overlook 2,000 feet above the canyon floor. took in all the different vantage points that this overlook had to offer. This spot, probably more than any in the park, really has the effect that the Grand Canyon gives you. It's almost just too much to take in. The lady was nice enough to let us use her binoculars to look down on the people at Angel's Landing. Right here's the overlook from a couple days before, and then that is where the chain section was. And as we headed back, Hannah took pictures of any flowers she saw along the trail. Well, we're almost done with Observation Point Trail. After this, we're gonna head back to the car and then go straight for Bryce Canyon, and we'll be there for a few days. Uh, if you wanna see a video for that, you can click right here. This adventure's been fun. Can't wait for the next one. Bye-bye.